What's going on, everybody? We're in Greenville today, getting ready to clear a house lot. This one's about a little over half an acre-ish. Um, and the tricky part about this job, it's a small house lot and it has really big trees on it. And it's a tight area. So I brought the uh, excavator out just now, had to clean the tracks off on it from where it was at at the last site because they were like completely caked with mud and stuff. So it took us a little bit to get here this morning and we're all the way out here in Greenville now coming from Spartanburg and see if I can get back here far enough to show you guys how big these trees really are. Yeah. So I got a house right there and literally right on the other side of the woods there's the other house. So kind of a tight area but Luckily, there's enough room to lay all this material down, fold them over, make the stump come out of the ground. Gonna have a lot of stumps in here. Good old Peterbilt truck. Favorite semi truck right there. And just barely got this dinosaur in here. It's a very strong machine it's a little overkill for jobs this size but it gets it done quick that's what i like about it so yeah here you go here's my uh property line here i'm working with with these big old trees bet these neighbors are probably gonna love it that these trees are coming down yeah not a whole lot of room to work with but we're about to make it happen So as soon as he gets back with the Caterpillar, the skid steer, we're going to use that just to kind of help move logs and brush around and stuff. Um, on this job, to try and condense the loads that we haul off, we are going to grind up a little bit of material. And then um, that mulch and then the stumps will get hauled out and then uh, the logs will go to a different place. There is a lot of big logs in this uh, on this lot here. So um, somebody came in here and did like the underbrush. So, uh, I guess somebody came in and did like a perk test. I don't see where they dug in the ground, but well, maybe it's over there where it's tracked up and muddy. But anyway, so when I came to look at this job, it was definitely thicker. It had a bunch of underbrush in it and stuff, but they got it all kind of thinned out for us, if you will. So, but anyway, getting ready to get started. And uh, as soon as he gets back with the skid steer, um, I'll be able to get out of the machine and do some more video and show you guys what it looks like moving these big old trees around so stay tuned <laughs> 